Hi folks, Roland Martin here. And I want to tell you a little bit about this new Heritage boat. Now, I, I got this boat almost a year ago, and I used it in freshwater on a couple different films this year, but I've since tricked it all out. This is the 40th anniversary Heritage boat, the one that cost $9,999. They only made 5,000 of them, and they sold them out. In the meantime, they've come out with this new thing called the, the, the Classic model, and it's kind of like this with a bigger, little bit bigger motor and a couple other upgrades. But this boat, I have really, really tricked out. First thing I did, come back and look at the back of the boat here. The first trick deal is I changed the aluminum prop to a nice stainless steel prop. And after testing this stainless steel prop, I have another four-bladed prop ordered that might even be better than this one. But anyway, this one's doing a real good job. Okay, the second trick trick. I'm talking about trick for speed. I'm talking about trick for going around in shallow water. I'm talking about all around performance trick. Okay, the second trick. This is a cavitation plate. And this cavitation plate, as this water compresses and pushes up, it keeps the propeller from spinning and over revving and it holds it all for shallow water operations even more. Now, speaking of shallow water operation, let's figure out how a way to get the motor up and down. Okay, the second or third big trick is look at this jack plate. Look at this thing. That is a jack plate. That's the Bob's jack plate. It has almost a seven inch lift. I can start off with it down low like that. Start off with it like this. Okay, take off. I take off. It's all down the water. Now if I want to take off in real shallow water, I can jack this thing way up high. Look at this. I can come up real high. And I still have water pressure because of this cavitation plate. I still have water pressure. And look, the motor is just almost level with the bottom of the boat. Now, once I take off, it's probably a little high to run. So to run, I probably run down a little bit farther. Then I still have the, the regular trim. So now, now for a real high speed operation, I'm trimmed up, I'm jacked up. I got the right prop. I got a super cavitation plate, but that's not all. We're talking about shallow water operation. This is a shallow water trick deal. What's this? This is the new micro ja uh, power pole. Now the micro power pole, this is what this is. Look at this. I hit down, I come like this, hit down, look at that pole, it comes down. It goes right into the ground, stops the boat. Slick, thick. Okay, now the, I can stop. There's a bunch of bass up here, a bunch of red fish, a bunch of some kind of fish. And I want to move a little farther, I just hit the up button, yep, comes up, stop, I take my trolling motor and run, run up to the, up to the spot a little bit farther. Okay, so now with the, with the power pole, that's such a good way to anchor your boat in shallow water. It's a shallow water anchoring system that's a must. Now I've tried all sorts of anchors and dropping them, I'm telling you. It's a, it's a pain. It's a really a pain in the neck with an aluminum boat with the wind blowing. It, it blows around way, way too much. And if you want to have a good stable deal where you stop and can fish, you got to have a power pole. And that's what this is. So let's put it up. Now, speaking of moving forward now, there's another kind of trick deal. Let's look at the troll motor. Let's come forward and look at the troll motor. Okay. How many times have you gone to pull, pull your cable or pull your rope and the thing breaks. Well, Bob's has a new cable system that won't break. It's almost indestructible. You can pull it as hard as you want. You won't break the rope and it's so, so cool. The other thing it does, they got a, Bob has a new deal for the, for the nut. That new nut system really holds it on. And by the way, this is my old Roland Martin weedless wedge. You know, years ago, I patented this prop from Minn Kota. It's called the Roland Martin weedless wedge. It's still in use today, 25, 30 years ago, I, I did this. But now they still make it. It's, they just call it the Weedless Edge. They don't call it the Royal Martin Weedless Wedge because my patent ran out. But anyway, that's beside the point. Another thing that Bob's did, look at this stuff that Bob's did. They got this thing here for the depth finder. You can move it all around and then tighten it up at the last minute. Boom. Just tighten it up like that and it's all tight, solid, really, really good. So that's just a few of the things. Now, why I'm doing this, the whole reason why I do this whole thing is particularly in shallow water. Let's talk about shallow water fishing for a second. Fish, particularly bass, particularly redfish, particularly trout, when the water is this deep and clear, they can see a long ways. They can see you way over to where my motorhome is. 
two things to it. I'm past the motorhome. The reason why is I learned the hard way. I fished this last week in Tampa Bay with Captain Jeffrey Page. Last year he had me show up. He's, I said, what should I bring? What kind of tackle? He said, bring some light braid. Light braid in my mind is 20 pound line. I show up last year, Jeffrey had 10 pound braid. That's even lighter. Let me tell you, a 10 pound braid casts another 20 or 30 percent farther than 20 pound braid. So here we'd pull up to a school of fish or an edge of fish or a grass bed and Jeffrey said, cast over there and he'd throw right there and catch a fish and I'd, I'd miss. I couldn't get there. So this year, <laughs> what I did, I brought my special favorite rod. It's a six and a half foot medium heavy action rod. It just casts like a bullet. It's got a big long handle. And I got my new reel, my new jack ham hammer reel with 10 pound braid. Now 10 pound braid, I'm here like this, I take my hand and go, and, and then I can go a mile. I'm just on the back cast, I hit that thing. But anyway, I'm all the way across the yard. That's 150 foot over there. I landed just about that far. So now I have the distance. Now I have the boat that goes shallow. Now I have the sunglasses to actually spot the fish. These are, you know, you have to have polarized sunglasses in shallow water. Let's face it, it's so important to see fish and to be sight fishing. You're sight fishing not only the fish, you're sight fishing that grass bed. You're sight fishing that darker water where it drops off. You're sight fishing a cloud of mud that the fish have clicked up. You know, there's all kind of things that you're looking for with good polarized sunglasses. And I'm using the Flying Fisherman series. That's one I like a whole lot. And they work just fine. Okay. So I got the right rod, the right line. My trolling motor's tricked out. I got plenty of speed. I got a depth finder if I need it, but the depth finder is not so important. One thing about this depth finder add on, it has the GPS signal. So now I can have the charts of, say, Tampa Bay. I can see where all the little holes and sloughs are on the depth finder, on the chart that I have. So that's one big upgrade. Okay, the trailer is perfect. Now, here's another thing about, about shallow water fishing. Here's a really good battery for running just whenever you want to run uh, it's a I call, call it ba a bass boat on a budget <laughs> this isn't a very expensive battery standard lead real good battery now if you want to spend some extra money and get an extra value and get an extra deal get yourself a, a, a glass mat technology that's a advanced glass mat that's an AGM series advanced glass mat technology battery. It doesn't have acid in it. It has a gel in it. And it lasts longer, gives you more power, you can recharge it more, it costs more, it does a better job. But for this budget boat, hey, this is a plenty good battery. People have always said that you want to use a fiberglass boat in salt water. And, and I don't know what they're talking about. That doesn't make any sense. Aluminum is plenty good for salt water. This little boat's a plenty good saltwater boat. Really, really a super good for just a little over $10,000. Now I've upgraded it for another about $2,000 more. So it's not a $10,000 boat anymore, it's a $12,000 boat. But I've upgraded it and it's still about half the price of a, of a flats boat. If you were to go down and buy a good Hughes bone fisher or some other kind of big boat, you know, you'd spend a lot more than $12,000. You'd spend a lot more than $24,000. You'd probably spend $35,000. So the point is, for $12,000, I have a wonderful shallow water flats boat. Maintenance is the key. With aluminum, you have to have a way to clean it. And now this Booyah product is a boat wash. Here's, here's the deal with this. You can go right to the, to the boat launch and it meets the EPA for safer choice direct release. Now with direct release, what direct release does, it means that you can legally clean the boat right at the boat ramp wash it down, wash this stuff into the water. It's a boat cleaner that's legal to use anywhere and release right into the lake. That's the only one on the market like that. So when I come off the water, I usually have a brush in the car, I usually have a bucket in the car, some fresh water. That's the key. The salt water is kind of caustic. Okay, we know that. So we have, to, we have to rinse it in fresh water, use a good boat wash like this, booyah. And then after all that's done, when I come home, I might rinse it again with uh, fresh water, but then I, I need to take some WD-40 or some kind of spray. And on, on some of the metal parts, I'll kind, of, I'll kind of spray it a little bit with some oil. If you do that, proper maintenance, aluminum boat will last you forever. That's just a few tips of how to 
do the flat spot and the bass fishing on a budget. So fishing on a budget, son, $12,000 flat spot, hey, you can't beat it.